Hi. Wanted to share with you what we're having for tonight's dinner, which is chicken enchiladas. Woo woo. So these are really easy. Basically, I bought more than just two cans. Um, so one, two, three. I actually bought four cans. And this one's open. Um, and this one is open. Um, and I've got a pound of cheddar cheese. And I chopped up cilantro and put that in here. Mixed it real good so that it would help with it to not um, stick together. Um, I got flour tortillas. I've only used ten. Um, I've already chopped up my um, organic lettuce, organic tomato, and organic avocado. I have black olives, sour cream. Of course, these are for the fixins. Um, and I have extra cilantro. I like cilantro a lot. Um, today we're doing the enchiladas. So let me show you. Let's see. I'll move this out of the way. Okay. So we'll put this over here, only so I can get you a little bit closer. You ready? Here we go. Traveling. Okay. So here's what we got. Okay. Okay. So what I did was, is I took four pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast, and I cooked it in a pot, and I dumped one of these cans inside the chicken after it was cut up small. Um, and I just let it soak in there real good. So that's really the only seasoning that it has other than before I dumped this in, I did put some poultry seasoning, which is like uh, powdered, uh, what do you call it? It's, it's like a powdery version of chicken bouillon. Chicken bouillon is, um, is poultry seasoning with, um, you know, you know what I'm saying. Let me move you over here. I'm sorry. Hopefully you're not getting seasick. I don't think it would be considered seasick. Okay, so here we go. All right. Hi again. Um, so I've got my cheese ready. Okay. I got my flour tortilla for time's sake because yesterday's um, thing was really long. I went ahead and did all the hard work ahead of time so that it would not take as long. So, there's my charger. I am trying to get this right. All right, this is better. Um, so what I did was, is I put a little bit of this in the bottom of a rectangular pan, this is nine by 13, and this I believe is a nine by nine or an eight by eight. So I put this in the bottom of it so that it wouldn't stick. And then I took the flour tortillas, I took them all out, right where I prepared all my chicken and everything. And I put some of the chicken mixture, which is the chicken, boneless, skinless, diced up chicken breast with um, a can of this in it. And I put it here on my tortilla. So I put some in there, good bit. I don't know how much I put in there, maybe a cup. Um, and then I took some of my cheese, put it on top of it, and this is how I rolled it, okay? I basically just try to keep it as, um, you know, together as much as possible. And I pulled it tight with the knife. I don't know if you've ever made sushi, but that's kind of what you do with sushi. You pull it tight with your bamboo mat. So, and then I just fold this. Now, I wanna show you what I did. I did not put, I ran out of room. Actually, let me see. Let me see if I can squeeze this guy in there. Can you see what I'm doing? Basically scoot him over. These are really full with a lot of chicken. Like I said, I did four pounds of chicken, um, boneless, skinless chicken breast, um, so that we could feed everybody and have leftovers. Oh, I lost a little bit of chicken. I'll just throw that on top. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is pour the rest of the enchilada sauce on the top. 
I'm going to just put the rest of that. And I'm going to smear it around. Okay. Make sure all of that flour tortilla gets covered by the enchilada sauce. Of course, there's chicken on top. It's kind of bothering me that it's on there. I couldn't fit it all in there, and there wasn't enough to make another one. So, okay. So now, the cheese with the cilantro. Basically, you just put that on top. I've already got my oven going, 375. And by the way, I absolutely love cilantro. I read, I watched this thing recently, and it said, doesn't that look good? Um, I watched this thing recently. Why is the focus off? I'm sorry. I I don't know what's going on with this. Um, it recently said that between four and fourteen percent of people do not like cilantro, and my daughter, eighteen year old, is one of those that do not like cilantro. Um, um, so I, they said, and I asked her, I, I told her, I said, they said that it tastes like dirt or soap to you. I said, does, she's like, yes, absolutely. That's what it tastes like. It's like, well, okay. Well, I guess that was pretty accurate. Okay. So we're going to put more sauce on this one. I'm going to go ahead and put this one. Okay, and here we go. Ooh. Hey, like the sound effects. Like, sound fun? You know, for doing, I, I actually cooked ahead of time tonight. I did two meals. Because we're going on a field trip um, with our children for homeschool um across the big chesapeake bay bridge tunnel that everybody is so afraid of it's really not that scary and now we're going to put the rest of the cheese um so um we're going to go a field trip and then we're going to go big grocery shopping day so that's fun the kids are really excited i told them two weeks ago and i probably shouldn't i should probably should have waited because they were like is today is today is it today? No, not yet. So, that might have been my fault. Okay, so there you go. You just put this in the oven. Um, I don't have any in the oven ready. So you just put it in for 17 to 20 minutes, and I'm putting both of these in here. And then it'll come out all hot and bubbly. And the chicken's already cooked, so basically you just need to melt this cheese and the cheese that's inside it. And uh, just enough to... Uh, let the uh, enchilada sauce um, kind of soak up those uh, the flour tortillas and the chicken and all the cheese. Just get married together. It's really yummy. So anyway, it doesn't take a long time. This was pretty easy, but I did make sure that I did it all ahead of time because my last video, I'm kind of new to the YouTube thing, making videos. So it took a little bit of time last time. So just wanted to let you know, this is what's for tonight's dinner, chicken enchiladas. Um, and by the way, the recipe did call for beef, but I had chicken. So, um, happy fifth day, which is the fifth day of the week, which is Thursday. Sorry, there was a mat. Um, ta-da, you know. Um, we call it fifth day. And uh, blessings to you and your family. And have a great evening.